content marketing for a long time, but eventually, I think it was 2016, um, a, a client, potential client reached out to ask if I would write a book for him, um, huh. which I hadn't done before. And I was very clear with him about that. But he said, you know, you have all of this experience writing, you used to work in publishing, like, you know, what a finished product is supposed to look like. So if you're game, then I'm game, basically. Um, wow. I didn't that know that the ghost trading awesome. started like that. <clears throat> yeah. And it was a great experience. He was a really good client and was very willing to work with me, I think, because I had been like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, you put this idea to me and I'm totally excited to go right. for it, but I don't know what I'm doing. And so he, I think, was very accommodating with that. He kind of knew that he had, like, put me into this moment and um right because that book went so well he i was part of a and like an online entrepreneur forum at the time and he wrote up a case study about how well the project had gone and what it had done for his business and all of this and so several cool. people from that forum then reached out for books and it kind of just Amazing. started to take its own shape and so yeah eventually i just stopped taking on content clients and just uh just did books and here we are 2022 still right. still just doing books and yeah oh it's that's been, so great that's been really awesome and yeah and i I, was, I gifted yeah. your your uh your book with i'm not sure with who the co-author was about like why didn't people t was it what people tell me this shit in the first place the book for why didn't anybody tell me this shit before <laughs> right yeah, advice for female entrepreneurs even though i'm sure it's applicable to you know to, to everybody um because I, I think the most important lesson that I found over, you know, my journey as well is that like, if you just kind of go out and do something and you're doing it the best you can and you're a genuine person, like opportunities do present themselves. And then you have to decide, like, even if you're scared of it, do you want to jump ahead and, and actually dive in as you did with that ghostwriting project? Like imagine where you might've been if you would have been too timid to take on that, that project, but you were genuine. You told them like, I've not done this before. So like, are we clear on what's happening here? <laughs> and, uh, and that you found a, you know, a, a great patron and you, you know, put, you put out some really good, good work. And that's so amazing. I didn't know that. I, I thought that you like went, you migrated from content creation and said, okay, I'm going to do ghostwriting uh, now. And now like you've moved on to doing writing workshops, which you've done recently. You wrote a couple books yourself. And I think, is there a book in, in process right now? There is, yeah. Okay, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Because you you did not want to tell me what the uh, what the title <laughs> or topic would be, and I'm 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 sticking yeah. with my my promise to not ask you, or not so often anyway. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I think you know I've been really fortunate to work with really amazing entrepreneurs and people who are really fun to collaborate with and who are really, you know, they, they are all yes and people, you know, and they're putting out information. I, I work a lot with entrepreneurs um, right. who want to teach what they know to people who are coming up behind them. And there's just a real sense of generosity in a lot of their work and, hmm. and a lot of transparency as well. You know, I try not to work with people who are very committed to holding up their trade secrets and, and not sharing their insights, you know, sort of thing. Like what's the point of writing a book about your business if you're not going to lay it all out. Right. And so, you know, it definitely makes for very interesting conversations, very honest conversations and we kind of get into territory where maybe they haven't really spoken about stuff publicly before. Um, mm. So for me, it's always this great kind of, unpacking um which is really interesting right um but yeah i think to to your point about like where would i be if i hadn't said yes i think that's been kind of the theme of my career to this point is like <laughs> just say yes what's the worst that can happen you know and 